Hey guys, I am so excited about today's video. Today's video is going to be a three-day wear test on the new Milani Glow Hydrating Skin Tint right here, this bad boy. So I have been stalking the new at Ulta ever since the new year hit and seeing like what people are coming out with. And I have been seeing so many hydrating like tinted moisturizer type things. And I found this one and this one really spoke to me. We'll talk about the details of that in just a couple minutes. But if you would like to see my thoughts on this, uh, talk about the formula, talk about the shade range. It only has four shades. Then just keep watching. Okay guys, first what I want to do is I have my computer here in front of me and I'm going to look up tinted moisturizers um, new arrivals at Ulta because that's what I've well I haven't been looking at tinted moisturizers specifically but they've come like a lot of them have been coming out so you have the Tarte Sugar Rush you have the Tarte new travel size BB cream Wet n Wild just came out with one Stila has a balm that they just came out with uh, Makeup Revolution just came out with one L'Oreal came out with a Skin Paradise one um, lots and lots of tinted moisturizers have been coming out, which I get it. It's, it's definitely been the thing that people have been leaning more towards. Um, but when I was looking at first, first of all, when I'm looking for something, especially something that I'm going to use on my channel, um, I'm looking at like the formula for me personal, personally, I don't want to buy something that I already know I'm not going to like some things I think I'm going to like, and then I don't, i.e. the elf one. But a lot of things, um, I, I am looking for a formulation that I am going to like. I also am looking at the shade range because it's 2021. There are no more excuses. You know better, you do better, okay? Um, and a lot of these, I was shocked to see the shade range. <laughs> like, I, like, Wet n Wild, which has other photo focus lines that have a pretty decent shade range, uh, their darkest shade is like a neutral medium to deep. It's not even deep. It's not dark. <laughs> like, I don't know what they were thinking. And then the rest of them are literally fair beige. Like, I could probably wear six of the seven colors. So there's that. So a lot of people I saw complaining about the Milani one because it only comes in four shades. But when you look at these four shades, you have a fair, a light to medium, a dark, and a deep. You don't have three fair shades and one medium shade. It is quite spread out. Now, Milani is a large company. They could have came out with more, um, but they don't have a very extensive like um, base product, like foundation and stuff. They have like what two foundations and one concealer ish something like that right um so i think this is them dipping their toes in but i personally am glad to see that it's equitable you know what i mean it is evenly spread out across the four shades um now i have not seen anyone with a deeper skin tone try this yet because it is so new and i'm not sure if someone would you know i don't know if it would draw them enough to do it but let's talk about the description and I'll tell you why I decided to do it. So it says, get up and glow. Milani's glowing Hi glow hydrating skin tint delivers next level glowing skin with a sheer to light coverage and an ultra dewy finish. Loaded with moisturizer queen squalane at 29% plus a skin quenching electrolyte and coconut water blend to help prevent hydration and lock in moisture it blends in seamlessly blurs in perfection and melts into the skin for a naturally dewy glow it is a sheer to light coverage so here's another reason why a lot of tinted moisturizers say like well it'll be sheer so like whatever the shades don't matter well the shades here are actually divvied up decently from my perspective now I do need you know other people to put in their perspective um so to me this looks evenly distributed and it's sheer so it might be okay you know what I mean so we'll see but what I what really 
drew me in also besides the sheer the distribution of the colors is that 29% squalene and if you've watched my winter skincare for dry skin you know that squalene has become like one of my number one skin things like I love it so much and I use it as like a moisturizer daily like I use it every single day um, I have it on today also even though this has squalene in it um, and it does have coconut what did it say coconut water not coconut oil because I do have acne prone skin so when I saw the word coconut I was like hold on but it's coconut water not coconut oil so I know that some people have the issue and irritation when it comes to coconut oil um so just know that as well now that we have cleared up why I purchased this let's talk a little bit about how we're gonna lay out this video because it's a mix mash normally my three-day wear test on the first day I do the intro and I do a first impression and it's live and I'm chatting with you and telling you my thoughts and how I feel about it so far and then I just show you end of the day beginning of the day end of the day beginning of the day end of the day and then my outro is the actual like fourth day of me wearing it and then we talk about my final thoughts um today this is actually the fourth day so i already have my thoughts and everything i did not have time to film a full intro and everything when i first got this and i really wanted to get this up as soon as possible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to overlay the first impression of me applying this as i talk about it so i got the lightest shade 110 fair to light and when i first pumped out the color i was like oh no this is gonna be too dark for me um, but as you can see while I'm applying it, it basically disappears into the skin. Now, I've never tried the Glossier Skin Tint, but this is giving me very much skin tint vibes. It definitely has, I would say, like, there's not even light coverage here. It is sheer, 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 sheer coverage. And basically, to me, what it looks like on the skin is, like, skincare. It is definitely for the everyday makeup wearer. Um, it's definitely something for someone that doesn't want coverage or you're going to use like a concealer for your like spot concealing and things like that. So the first day I did half of my face with a brush and half of my face with a sponge. I didn't really see a difference at all in the coverage or the way that it looked. But I did notice that my brush on the brush side, my brush was so wet because it was just soaking it up. Um, so from then I've chosen to just use my sponge because I clean my sponge more than I clean my brush I clean my sponge every single time so I can get all that stuff out. So That's my preferred method. So we've seen the application here. Let's look at the end of day one um, And you can see there's not There's not a lot of coverage there. You can definitely see that my face is a little bit more worn but there is no like gathering and collecting of the pigments which i really really appreciate for a skin tint let's go ahead go to the beginning of day two and the end of day two same thing here um i i definitely think it looks <laughs> it looks really good um and then we're go beginning of day three which on day three, I decided to try applying it with my hands because I know that a lot of people that just do like an everyday minimal makeup uh, like to apply their stuff with their hands. I really, really hated it. <laughs> I didn't hate the way it looked, but I hate applying the stuff with my hands. I hated having it all over my fingers. I did not like that at all. Just personal preference. It did look fine, um, but I did find that as I would be pushing it around, I could actually see the pigment. This was the first time, the entire time of my using it, that I could see the pigment, but I would just like, you know, tap, it would like gather right here, and then I would just tap it out, and it worked out perfectly fine, but I don't think that it looked any different on the skin, and for me personally, I just don't like using my hands, so... Now, all three days, I think this wore beautifully. I wore this for about nine hours, sometimes a little bit over nine hours, every single day. And there was not one part of me that looked like I needed to touch up. If anything, the only thing that I thought felt throughout the day was, oh man, I should have set my whole face. Because day one, 
I just set like under my eyes and in my t-zone like I normally do day two I did the same thing day three I don't even know if I powdered because I wanted it to be like a really natural situation but in the middle of the day I ended up powdering because it was just, I have a cat <laughs> and it was so sticky that like I was getting hairs in my in my face you know so today I have actually lightly powdered it so let me show you it's still got a beautiful radiance it's still it still looks so skin like and I'm wearing powder products on top of it powder blush powder contour powder all over my face I'm wearing the Savora micro smooth powder all over my face and it does I, I mean I didn't like put loose powder and press it in it does still feel a little bit tacky but it definitely feels set and on my face my final thoughts are you're only going to like this if you have dry skin. If you have even a little bit of an oily skin, you are going to hate this, I'm pretty sure. It's going to feel like you have oily skin. I used to have oily skin, and throughout the day I would be like, oh my god, I just need to wipe my face. I would have to like go to the bathroom and take some toilet paper and just like wipe the oil feel off my face. And I could see people with oily skin feeling that way about this. So that's number one. I don't think this is for someone that leaves, has even mildly oily skin. And then number two, there is no coverage, okay? The only reason that it looks coverage-y enough for me to have a full face is because I powdered it and it is getting the coverage from the powder, okay? It has no coverage, no coverage but i could see this working really well for like a nurse okay you are going to be working 12 to 15 hours or something ridiculous you are going to be wearing a mask you might be wearing a thing over your head and you just want to feel like you got ready for the day you want your skin to look really nice um and overall even you know just a little bit of this and maybe some mascara a little bit of powder and that's your go-to look or if you work in an environment where you are going to be at work all day okay this is a beautiful beautiful foundation you pair it with if you like blush and bronzer that will last all day that are very long lasting bing bang boom you've got a, a full face look that's going to last you 10 12 hours without looking terrible now when on the third day i wore it with the i think the second and th third day yeah the second and the third day i wore the tower 28 magic hour blush which is a cream blush but it lasted all day so i just think if you pair it with long lasting items like it's not going to help things mat last longer i don't think um, and it definitely, to me, at the end of the day, looks like I look like I've been wearing it all day, but it doesn't look bad. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't go into your creases at all. It doesn't build up around your nose or in your wrinkles at all. It doesn't like pull apart where you have like no coverage right here, but you have a little bit of coverage right here. It, it fades very evenly. And I just feel like when I worked at Kmart, when I worked in retail, I would have loved to have this because it's something that feels comfortable and moisturizing all day without looking like you need to go touch up or when you get home you want to wash your face off. Like it definitely feels very much like skincare and I think it looks very much like skincare also. It definitely, I don't know, I just think it's I think it's very beautiful. It is definitely not something that I would reach for normally I don't think personally because I do like to have a little bit of coverage but it is something that I definitely think I will be mixing into other things so I might take like a pump of this and a little bit of the Alma Beauty foundation to give me a little bit more coverage and then this will give me the hydration that I'm lacking from that foundation things like that um I do think it looks so beautiful on the skin it, and it looks so beautiful on camera too like I can see myself using this for filming like if I were just going to be doing a talking video but it looks this beautiful in person it it doesn't accentuate any lines it doesn't accentuate my pores it just looks so skin like 
and and dewy and I did I did set my face and I'm not wearing a highlighter so that's that's what that is it's 11.99 at Ulta for one fluid ounce 30 mils um, and also if you notice in my application part I did use quite a lot actually to cover my face but I think it's because it of the squalling so it's more like um a, like a moisturizer when you're putting it on you're like you put it here and it like to the skin and then you're like oh I need to go up here it's not like um it's spreadable but it does kind of like grip to your skin you know what I mean I hope that makes sense you let me know if that makes sense um so yeah those are my thoughts on the Milani glow hydrating skin tint again I got the shade 110 fair now let me know guys if you are interested in this if you plan to pick this up what's going on give me the 411 below yes I'm 87 years old um, but yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!